lot of questions that you've all been asking me. I have them written down in my phone. They're all makeup related and I feel like what a better time than for the new year. So if you're interested in hearing the answers, then keep on watching. Okay, so this question is from Samantha. What's your favorite way to remove makeup at the end of a long day? I would say I either start with a makeup wipe or a cleansing oil. In the winter months, I really like to do a cleansing oil because I feel like it's hydrating and less abrasive on the skin. I really like one from Bare Minerals and there's also one from Lancome. I will link them both down below. So I just really like rub all the makeup off, get a wet rag, wipe it down, and then I go in with my facial cleansing, toning, moisturizing, serums, all of that good stuff. I feel like that's the best way and I also use a brush. After I remove the makeup and I'm onto the cleansing part, I'm using a cleansing brush because it's really scrubbing away any makeup that I didn't catch with the first removal. Okay, let's see. The next question, what is, this is from Amber Lee. What's your favorite color corrector and what color do you use for what concern? I really like one from Urban Decay. It's the uh, consistency is almost like a concealer. It's like the same liquid form, same wand. I use the deep orange for my dark circles, any like hyperpigmentation I have going on. But if I have a blemish or like just like a zit that's super red, I'll use a green color corrector because that's gonna cancel out the redness. And I do this my first step before any foundation. Those are like my top two I usually use. If I feel like my skin's a little dull, I'll use like a lavender color corrector, but usually it's either orange or green or both. Those are like the top two. Let's see, on to the next one. Should your moisturizer have an SPF? I would say it's more of a personal preference. I personally don't like my moisturizer to have an SPF because then I find that I just solely rely on that as my SPF and I really wanna go in with like a heavy duty, like as high like SPF level I can get as a sunscreen before my moisturizer. So I would say the answer, no. It doesn't have to have an SPF, but if you're not using a sunscreen, then yes, make sure that it does. But if you are using a sunscreen, then just use a moisturizer with no SPF, that's fine. How old should I start to use an eye cream? And do you use one and what is your favorite? I would say, you're never too like young or old to use an eye cream. I feel like the skin underneath your eye is so sensitive and delicate, it needs to be hydrated all of the time, no matter the time of year. And it also just gets you in good habit of, you know, basic prevention skincare tips to prevent aging later on down the road. My favorite, I would say, is my Origins Ginseng Eye Cream. And I also like the Better Eyes from Clinique. Those are like my top two. Do you like to apply mascara before or after your falsies? Okay, that's a hard one because I feel like sometimes I just plop them right on and forget to apply mascara before, but I do like to apply them before most of the time because my natural lashes are so curly that when I'm applying my false lash, I feel like the glue gets stuck to my natural lashes because they're going like different directions and curling up towards my lid and then it just is like messy and it's so much more harder. So I feel like if the mascara is already on there, my lashes are more groomed and the falsies can just sit right on top and blend in really nice. What foundation should I use for combo skin? For combo skin, I would definitely recommend anything that's oil-free. If you have combo skin, 10, nine times out of 10, your T-zone is pretty oily. So if you have an oil-based foundation, it's I mean, after an hour, you're gonna be an oil slick no matter what primer or setting spray you use. So just make sure it's oil-free. Um, Bare Minerals has a really nice one. It's actually good for your skin and helps your skin over time. There's like nutrients inside. Also, um, you could go with a matte, but maybe dilute it a little bit. So I know Estee Lauder has their double wear, but they just came out with their double wear like nude, I think it's called, where it's a little less matte, but this like pretty good coverage, like medium to full coverage. So I would do like something like that or just mix two foundations. If you wanna do like a heavy duty matte full coverage, but then mix in something really sheer and dewy to kind of give you that balance, just like you wanna balance out your combination skin, that works as well. Let's do one more. What foundation should I use for dry skin? I would get something pretty rich and make sure that it's, it has a lot of moisture inside. Like the Vada Lumiere foundation from Chanel I've talked about before is a great one. Um, Urban Decay Naked Skin is great. 
uh, face and body from MAC is great. That's pretty hydrating. It's more on the sheer side, so you might want to mix it with something else or just go in with your concealer beforehand. But those are some really, really good options. Just make sure something is really rich and moisturizing and more on the dewy side than a matte side. Okay, I wanted to say thank you to everyone who's always left me questions down below. It's so, so helpful for me. It helps me let you know what you wanna see and I'm really happy that I got to answer all of them. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new. Make sure you are subscribed down below, give me a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye, thank you so much for watching.